In the last YouTube video, I demonstrated the compression of an Ambu bag to make a simple ventilator. I then improved the design to let the Ambu bag move freely and be compressed by a different shape as shown in this video. I believe this design is easier because it allows a linear actuator to compress the bag from one side with the same performance as the MIT design which is more complicated and has to compress the ambu bag from both sides. However, all designs have the same problem of dead space. The tube connecting the ventilator to the patient is four to six feet long and the volume of air in it is called dead space. When a patient exhales, the space is filled with carbon dioxide which the patient may then rebreathe on the next breath. MIT's solution was to move a set of valves close to the patient's mouth or endotracheal tube which will allow inspired gas to be pushed into the patient but expired gas to be quickly vented by a second tube away from the ventilator. When I went to the internet to try to find ventilator valves they were easy to find but when ordered I got a message by email the following day saying that Orders were out of stock and would take many weeks, if at all, to receive delivery. So these items were basically impossible to get. To solve this problem, I ordered breast pumping valves off the internet, which were promptly delivered from Amazon in one to three days. The remainder of this video is to show you how to use these valves in PVC piping to make the respiratory circuit necessary to prevent dead space in a simple ventilator. The motion of the so-called duckbill valve is shown in this video and the motion of the so-called toilet seat valve is shown in this video. Note that Standard 22 millimeter respiratory tubing can be directly connected to PVC piping one half inch in diameter. As it turns out, the duckbill valve can easily be fit inside the diameter of the PVC tubing snugly and the PVC tubing closed to create a leak proof connection. This video demonstrates air intake through the duckbill valve and air exhaust through the toilet seat valve. This figure shows the ventilator tube coming from the ventilator on the bottom, the connection to the endotracheal tube on the top, and a HEPA filter or an N95 filter on the right. There are duct bill valves inside the tubing in the direction shown outside of the tubing. This setup allows the simple ventilator to push air into the patient from bottom to top through the duckbill valve in one direction and then expired from the patient to the filter via the other duckbill valve to the right. The filter above is an N95 mask taped to the face mask from an Ambu bag. A HEPA filter material could also be placed in this position. I hope this video gives you ideas about how to solve two problems, the dead space issue and the HEPA filtering of expired air issue required by the FDA to be solved before they would approve simple ventilators. Thank you for listening and good luck in making your devices.